Well, hello strange people, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I promised you all a, uh, that the next video would be a, uh, a camp out. But uh, I woke up yesterday, rough as rats. No streaming, bit of a cough. And uh, with sub-zero temperatures last night, I decided that it was probably... Uh, best that I didn't camp. So uh, come out for a hike, I'm going to go to the protest, the anti-camping protest, anti-camping, whatever you want to call it, the camping protest as uh, you're probably aware they're uh, trying to ban camping on parts of Dartmoor and that will only spread to the rest of Dartmoor so uh, I'm off to that. It's a couple of mile walk, but uh, and I'm running a bit late, but uh, yeah, Whew. beautiful out here. Still, I'm not very far from the road, so you can hear the traffic. But uh, yeah, it's still frosty, lovely, really nice. Right, I'll catch you in a mo. So we've just come over the top of North Estuary Tour with its mast on it. Its mast can be seen pretty much from any high point on Dartmoor. Six hundred and forty-three feet, built in nineteen fifty-five. These days, the mast is only really used for radio, BBC radio. Originally, it was built for television. There's another one, without zooming in, I can't point it out, but there is another one about 15, 20 miles away, well, probably 15 miles away. A place called Carradon on Bobman Moor. When I was a boy, my mother's bedroom looked out onto Carradon and a military jet fighter hit one of the cables that holds it up. These it's got these huge cables. I don't know if the camera's picking them out. But it's got huge cables that hold it up. And uh or stabilize it I should say. And uh yeah when I was a boy a, a jet fighter actually hit one of those cables. I'd like to say it was about 1973. I've got a memory of looking out my mum's window trying to see if I could see the aeroplane. It's actually quite uh, scary for a, a young child. I believe the pilot ejected, in fact I'm pretty sure the pilot ejected and uh, was safe. It just goes to show even the best best of us make mistakes. But he had some explaining to do. <laughs> right, catch you in a mo. There's a village of Princeton just coming into view. What a wild place to live. <laughs> ah, this is just make it over the top of the wall the roofs of the prison. I won't film the prison. Yeah, not long to go now. Who's more? Our Who's more? Our Who's more? Our Who's more? Our Who's more? Yeah, I'm 
you really have no idea what we're about to say. When I say right, you say So I uh, left the main group and I've come up to Fog and Tor Quarry. They've all gone up to King's Tor. I don't know if you be able to see them over there. Had myself a brew. I've just noticed a sign back there, which I'd never noticed before. But I haven't been out here for two or three years. I try to steer clear of this place. It's it's quite busy. It says that any activities within the quarry, you must get permission from the Maristow estate. Now, I don't remember ever seeing that before, but that would include wild camping and certainly the wild swimming that people do in there. And uh, I think that's tantamount, really, to, to, to banning. Though they're not banning, they're not saying we're going to ban you. You've got to phone up for permission, and I don't know if they're going to give you permission. Whether this is something that's come in because of this, this place was absolutely packed during COVID, or you know when the COVID lockdown ended. So uh, I don't know if that's something that um, has come about from that. Anyway. I'm going to march on because I've got that hill to go over. I'm going to get off this railway track. It's far too packed with people. Catch you in a moment. Well, I'm going to leave the video here. I'm uh, not far from the mast now, and uh, that means not too far from the car. I uh, just want to say hello to the people that recognise me, the first people ever to recognise me who weren't YouTubers. Um, thank you very much for saying hello. I wish I'd thought to ask your names, but you know, I'm a plonker. Um, so, thank you for coming up and uh, saying you enjoyed my videos, very kind of you. And uh, hello to uh, Stuart as well, who I finally got to meet from LNT Kerno, uh, YouTube channel. I think he took some video of the uh, protest as well. And uh, finally got to meet Mr. Life on the Rocks. Uh, he's got a great channel, but he seems to have stopped making videos. So if you can all go over there and pester him to start making ch uh, videos again, I think uh, I think he might just about get uh, get started. And uh, hello to Jay again, wandering Jay. So yeah, it's been a pretty good. Uh, 
pretty good um, turnout. There must have been, I would have thought there was close to 500 people there, which is a pretty good turnout uh, on relatively short notice. So uh, I should imagine the organisers are quite pleased with that, quite pleased indeed. Um, you don't have to subscribe, but if you can like and if you want to comment, I'm more than happy to uh, comment back. Just literally got to get up over the top of that hill now and walk down to the car. Proper job. Right, I'll catch you on the next one. Next one. No idea what I'm doing. Well, I've got no idea what I'm doing most of the time anyway. Catch you on the next one.